If I could summarize this lawsuit in one sentence, Dan Bilzerian got sued for being a spoiled rich kid. Basically, the guy's suing him for wrongful termination. And in this lawsuit, he alleges that Dan fired him because he wouldn't approve a bunch of his business expenses. <laughs> uh, and so it just turned into a pissing match and, uh, you know, man baby Dan Bilzerian decided to fire him, but not before he accused the guy of being on drugs and quote, acting strange. You heard that right. Dan Bilzerian is officially trying to take the high ground on drugs. Uh, so the details of this case, I'll go through real quick because I know we covered it a little bit yesterday. But as a quick disclaimer, obviously everything in here is an allegation and everything I say about it will be my opinion. But what's really relevant here are not only his insane expenditures, like paying for an $100,000 flight to London, or like buying a paintball field for 75K and expecting investors and the company to foot the bill. It's that when a guy who's working for the company flags these expenses and refuses to approve them, allegedly, Dan just fired the guy, problem solved. But that's not all. In this lawsuit, we see some really creative accounting going on where Dan Bilzerian's company, Ignite, is trying to classify PPP loans as income, AKA, you know, like that small business loan you can apply for from the government for COVID relief. Yeah, Ignite was trying to mark that as income in order to balance their budget sheet. Now I'm no CPA, but you can't mark a debt alone as income. And the only reason you would is to look good in the eyes of investors. This, I guess, was to offset some of Dan Bilzerian's $800,000 worth of personal spending. That's not me saying it, by the way. Apparently, his auditing company flagged $800,000 worth of stuff that seemed to be, quote, personal in nature. But literally, none of this stuff would have come out if Dan Bilzerian would have just not fired him and not accused the guy of taking drugs. But he couldn't keep his mouth shut because he was pissed off that the guy wouldn't approve, <laughs> wouldn't approve his spending. It's literally insane. It's like a giant tantrum blown up into a lawsuit. And the last big thing that I didn't cover last time is that apparently Dan Bilzerian was told by this employee that he shouldn't be renting out that $2.4 million a year house anymore because why do you really need some super mega party mansion when during COVID you're not gonna be able to throw parties? To which Dan Bilzerian threw a little fit and said, I'm going to be doing some summer pool parties and we'll utilize the house. Yes, you heard that right. Dan Bilzerian can't cut $2.4 million in expenses from this bloated company because he needs his summer pool parties. I bring all this up for a couple of reasons. For one, it turns out the image of Dan as some alpha self-made poker star is hilariously inaccurate. He's just a trust fund rich kid. And secondly, because it turns out you and I are picking up the tab on Bilzerian's frivolous spending. See, remember that PPP loan Bilzerian applied for? Yeah, it turns out he got $1.2 million in government assistance. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, yeah, he's gonna pay that back, it's a loan. But Ignite just applied for loan forgiveness. And if they get that, it officially means that you and I are footing the bill for overhyped LA pool parties. Uh, literally insane. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. The lawsuit will be linked below if you want to take a look for yourself. See ya. Oh, Danny boy, the feds, the feds are calling. They want to know where you have run off to. All the money's gone. They want to know where you have put it. <coughs> Is it in the ping pong table or the brand new pool you bought? Don't bluff billionaires. That's something I learned like early on.